So in this tutorial, we'll look at extracting emails from the box conversation. And the crucial point to make is that when you add an interaction to the box structure, you need to make it the interaction type that extracts emails. So you choose that one. So the point being that then the interaction will recognize that it's to do with emails. And this gives you a nice option in terms of failed uh, emails. So I hit carriage return. You'll notice this little box here is checked. This is good for the user because it will highlight to the user the fact that they've entered an email. We'll see that shortly. So you enter your bot's message. Great, thanks. Please leave your email below. And here's one of the values of using the uh, email interaction. You can put an error response because it will detect if it's not a valid email. So, oh dear. That does not seem to be a valid email and then it will ask the same question again so we hook this interaction up to the query as to someone who'd like to join a mailing list for example if the response to the interaction contains yes then go to email so it's a very simple bot here but it's just to demonstrate the this email function so that's all there is to it you will now be collecting emails um but you'll want to uh, see this highlighted email in action, of course. So let's have a look how it looks. So you'll come to a point in your conversation where your bot asks for an email. The person agrees to join the email list. Please leave your email below. If it's a correct email, then you'll see it highlighted here, both for the user and when you come to look at your data, you, you'll see that also. But if we restart, and we have the same issue, but it just makes someone makes a mistake or types something random. Oh dear, that does not seem to be a valid email. So that's your email extraction function. Uh, and it's a very useful one, of course.